Hello and welcome to Let's Make a Date, the Middle Earth Edition. My name is Orc number 350. I'll be your host for this evening. Let's meet our unlucky lady in love, I mean our lovely contestant, Arwen Nundamal. You may recognize this lovely lady as the Lady of Rivendell, and yet Queen of the United Kingdom. Unlucky in love, this beautiful elf maiden, after giving away her immortality and love to the King Aragorn, got her heart sliced in two with Andriol, Flame of the West, as Aragorn couldn't keep his hands off the glory that is Galadriel, Arwen's grandmother. Honey, if I can give you any advice, sue that son of a bitch for all he's worth. Let's meet the three potential suitors that the beautiful Arwen could be taking home tonight. Now we've chosen these suitors at random from Middle Earth's number one dating site, OneRingToBindThem.org. You may know this eligible bachelor as the Prince of the Woodland Realm, the swift and agile and Fellowship of the Rings member most commonly known for staring off into the distance with a face that resembles something between deep thought and constipation. Yes, you guessed it, Legolas Greenleaf! This scrub-loving, Frodo-loving hobbit, who's also known by his good friend Gollum as the stupid fat one, is a father to 13 children, and with permission from his Mrs. Rosie, is allowed to shred his wings in a foray of swinging. He enjoys pipe smoking, holding hands, and magic mushrooms. Yes, I'm talking about the virile Samwise Gamgee! This heavy set and short statured dwarf is a hit with the ladies, with his lossish beard, courageous fighting skills, and his colossal good looks. We're not too sure why he's on the show. This one liner on his profile on OneRingToBuyThem.org says, Bring your pretty face to my axe. Hmm, not too sure about that one. Anyway, you guessed it, it's Gimli! Okay, ladies and gents, let's start the questioning. Arwen, just to run you through the rules, you would ask our contestants a series of questions you'd like to know about them as potential suitors. At the end of the second round, you'll tell us who you'd most likely want to take home with you tonight. Let's get on with the show! Good evening, Suliad. Good evening, Arwen. Now, contestant number one. Suliad or Vain. What do you think is your best asset? Shall I describe it to you? Oh, um, okay. It's long. Hard. Bendy. It's killed many an orc in its time, and it has a draw weight of 150 pounds. I'm talking about my slender bow. Of course. Oh, um, thank you. <laughs> Uh, contestant number two. Oh, hello! Lovely to meet you. Can we try this food treat? Good. Same to you. Now, contestant number two. Do you wear the pants in a relationship, per se? Well, uh, I've, I've always liked having a master, you know. Uh, when Frodo and I went to destroy, you know, the one ring. <laughs> Well, you know, when we were together, I, I, I always liked to be the more subservient one, you know. We'd, I'd wash his underwear and we'd spoon and, you know, all that normal stuff. But although, I, I, I'm not into anything unnatural, per se. Sorry if that's your thing. <laughs> well, I prefer my men to be stronger of mind and brawn, but thank you. Contestant number three. Oh, hello, kind miss. Describe your dream woman to me. Uh, well, um, um, uh, hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm, I, I'm not really experienced with the whole lady talk thing. <laughs> you know, us dwarves are known for being Natural brawn sprinters and excellent fighters and the such, but not so much for the lady talk. No. But uh, to, an to answer your question, uh, oh, 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 yes. Oh, she's gorgeous. Oh, she's got blonde, long hair and blue eyes that shine like the very moon. Well, it's a shame about the lack of facial hair and the pointy ears and such, but I find nowadays you can't be too picky. Yeah. 
Shame about the pointy ears. I have a feeling that I might not be your type. Hmm. Contestant number one. Describe your perfect romantic evening to me. Well, I'd take you on a ride on Arrod through the woodlands and then down to the riverbank. We would feast on the finest forest fruits and mead. And then, as we are down by the riverbank, wrapped up in the finest wool-spun elven cloak, there, I'll make love to you all night long. And, my dear, us elves don't sleep. So when I mean all night long, I mean all night long. Us elves? You're an elf? Yes. Do you have a problem with that? Oh, uh, um, no, it's... I'm an elf. <laughs> oh, we... oh, shit. Oh, the life of the elf are sour on... Oh, my God. Um, I... What if Aragorn finds out? Ligolas? Oh my gosh. Um, oh my dear. You're practically related. Oh, well, I didn't know you were going to be on here. Oh, far out by the eye of freaking Sauron and Lord of the freaking Rings. Oh, oh my gosh. Wait, wait until your father finds out and, oh, and I said all those things to you and, oh man. <laughs> What's going on? Mr. Mr. Frodo? Is, is that you? What the? Samwise Gamgee? <laughs> what the devil are you doing on here? What, what, what about Rosie and the kids? Oh, no, she knows. Don't worry. No, um, about... Okay. Mm -hmm. Arun? Oh. oh, 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 by Gandalf's beard. Oh, oh, oh dear. What the devil is going on here? Oh, uh, Legolas? Is that you? What, what, the, what the bloody orc scene is going on around here? Gimli? this fellowship of the rings dating show is it <laughs> wait Gimli before when you were describing your dream of woman with long blonde hair and blue eyes you didn't happen to be describing my bitch of a grandmother Calandriel were you ah <laughs> uh, well uh. <laughs> oh, my freaking Lord of the Rings! What the hell were you lads thinking? And wait until Aragorn finds out. And don't you even think about hearing this, or else you will feel the wrath of Harafen. <gasps> so embarrassed. Shall we go for a pint then, boys? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, and that concludes our Let's Make a Date with Love edition. Next episode, we head to Narnia. Will the White Witch ever find love? Stay tuned!